this video, I'm going to show you how to record alone in QuickBooks. So here we are just logged in. I am going to go to my bookkeeping section to find the transactions that I need to categorize. Under, uh, you know, my bank transactions, I've gotten these two transactions in here and you can see, okay, 50,000 came in. And uh, for the sake of an example, um, I have a $900 payment on that loan. So the first thing we're going to do is select the loan principal that was transferred to us. You can see that's interesting. You know, it's uh, taking a, a guess here, short-term business loans. Um, I would like that to be maybe its own separate liability account so I can track what I owe on this loan specifically though. So let's, uh, let's actually create a new SBA loan category. So here we go, my account type, this is gonna be a liability. And uh, I'm gonna put it under long-term liabilities because it's gonna take more than 12 months to pay off. Notes payable, yep, that sounds good, right? Track your business long-term over 12 months, there it is. Um, and then here we go, SBA and maybe you know loan number uh, you know, 3453. Um, I could put a description. I don't need to fill in this. Um, I can just save and close. And there we go. I am loading up that liability account. Uh, you know, so $50,000 came into my checking and, um, now I owe 50,000 back to the SBA and that's going to appear on my balance sheet. So here we go. I'm going to confirm that that's good to go. And then here for this loan payment, um, I am going to, yes, I'm going to put it back to that same liability account, at least if it's the principal portion. So, um, so yeah, this is the thing about loan payments. You have to break out the principal and the interest portion of your loan payments because they actually go in different places. The principal portion of your loan payment, you know, the, the, the portion of your loan payment that just goes back to repay that 50,000 that you were given, that uh, reduces your liability. So that, that has to do with the balance sheet. The interest portion is actually a business expense. So it reduces your tax liability at the end of the year, um, usually in an interest paid account. Um, so, so you have to watch out here. So if this were in a zero interest loan, then all of this would be going back to pay pay off that principal. Um, so I, you know, if it were zero interest, I could just confirm here and now. Um, but let's say that um, it it actually isn't all principal, and there is some interest being paid here. So I'm going to split this transaction, and the two categories that I need are my two different expense accounts. So there we go, interest paid. Oh, and I have specifically a business loan interest. So that, that could be interesting to divvy up, you know, credit card interest versus business loan interest so I can keep track of, uh, you know, maybe I need to be more on top of my credit card payments. Um, so here we are. Uh, I, I don't necessarily need a description. Um, I could put in that I paid the SBA. Don't necessarily need that. So here we go. This is where I divvy up. Let's say 860 is going to that principal and $40 of that loan payment is going to the interest. So that is how you do it. Um, if this is a little too difficult to do for every loan payment, um, you what you could do is maybe at the end of the year for tax time, you, you could... Um, you could count up all of the interest that you paid for the year. Uh, maybe you can have your lender send you an amortization schedule. This is a, a, a spreadsheet that says like, for each payment, this is how much is principal and this is how much is interest. And then you could just do a journal entry where you put in, okay, you know, I'm gonna take this interest out of the loan category and I'm going to put that interest into this interest paid expense account. So you, you could do this that at the end of the year to cover all your transactions or you could do it individually like this. Um, so I'm going to apply and confirm here. 
if I'm doing it uh, on the sort of like end of the year method, or, or maybe I'm going back and divvying up that um, principal versus interest on a, on a, a different time period, what I can do is go up here to the plus sign. I'm going to go to the journal entry over here. And uh, this is where I would say, okay, I'm going to take some amount out of my uh, of what I what I've said that I've paid towards my SBA loan, and I'm going to put some of that into my interest paid. Um, and I love to check my debits and credits. So I'm going to Google, you know, do liability accounts usually have a credit or debit balance? Liabilities naturally have a credit balance. Great. So, um, so that's saying if if you owe something, it's usually a credit uh, on your liability account. So uh, we're reduce. Uh, we are we're increasing. Because we've we've inflated the amount that we've paid, so the liability, you know, fifty thousand came in. We made a loan payment for nine hundred, but some of that was interest. So we want that to go back up. Yeah, so it would be a credit. You would be putting it back up, and then do expense accounts usually have a debit balance. Yeah, naturally have a debit balance, right? So perfect. So, um, you know, if it was $40, that was actually supposed to be interest. And then $40, that was actually, um, you know, that went to the liability account, but was supposed to go to the uh, interest paid account, then um, that is how you record it. Um, and you can just save that. And if you want to go and see, you know, what your loan balance is and, and how your loan payments are coming in, you can go to your business overview, go to your balance sheet. And here we go. I'm running it as of today. And um, I've got my assets, and then I've got my liabilities, and then equity. So in the middle here, this is where I'm looking. There's my SBA loan. That's the current balance that I still need to pay off. And I can drill down into that. And here we go. So um, the 50000 came in. Um, I made a payment and, you know, $860 of that payment went to the, uh, went against the principal of the loan. So I'm saying that was not interest, that was principal. Um, but then I'm saying, oh, you know what, actually another $40 of that was actually interest and not principal. So I'm uh, adding back in $40 to, to the principal that I still owe and putting that, you know, $40 into the interest paid category. And I would actually see that interest paid category on my profit and loss report. So if I go back to reports, um, I uh, don't need to save this. If I go back to reports, I can check out my profit and loss. And here we go. Here's my income and then my expenses, and there's my interest paid. There's that 40, okay, so it looks like I've, I've kind of divvied up into two separate accounts. So you gotta watch out for your sub accounts, uh, but the total interest for the year is $80. If I wanted to make sure that all of this went into that business loan interest account as opposed to the interest paid account, I could click that $40 there. It's going to show me the transactions that make up that $40. Okay, so it's saying there that's that journal entry. And um, I can go back to that journal entry. Here we go. Let's switch this classic view. So we've got the interest paid here. I'm going to click that. There we go. That worked this time. And... Um, 
I'm going to change this from interest paid to specifically business loan interest down there. And there we go. I'm going to save that. Great. Exit out of that. Uh, back to my report summary. And let's see if it's updated. Yes. So now we don't have it in two separate places. We have consolidated it down to uh, that one business loan interest account. So that's nice. And there you have it. That is how uh, you record a loan coming in and then a loan payment and how you divvy up the interest versus the principal um, and why it's important to, to do so, you know, for your, for your tax liability. For more bookkeeping guidance, go to jumpstartinc.org slash bookkeeping. And if you want to get in touch with our team directly for one-on-one -on -one advising, fill the form out on that webpage. Thanks again for watching.